actually made it to the other side we actually come across the top of that little ridge and yeah it's a little bit sketchy to get going but it's not too bad i've been in worse than bobbling so what they do is now they stopped and then all of a sudden they'll start bobbling here look at that come on guys i've got to get through let me through you might even get to see the odd seabird <laughs> i don't know maybe you will and maybe you won't but it sounded good anyway when i was listening to him say it So hello and good morning and welcome to another video and a very strange place for me to be in. I'm not in the UK anymore. I decided to take a trip up to Scotland. We headed up to Edinburgh Airport where we decided to jump on an aeroplane and hit the skies. Yes, we've landed. We're in a different country. Can you tell where we are yet? I've given you a few clues as we've been coming across here. I'm not alone. I'm on my first ever group uh, tour to come and visit none other than the Faroe Islands. And we are actually on the ferry at the moment, heading towards uh, Stranroy, I think it is. I don't know what the name of the place is. I'll put it up on the screen, but we're going to Kelsoy. No, we're going to, Kel Kel uh, we're going to Kelsoy, we're going to Kelloy Lighthouse. So we are on the ferry and we're heading over to Kelsoy and we're going over to Kelloy Lighthouse. It's our first morning, it's a Friday morning. We're up bright and early to get on this first ferry. Uh, but yeah, absolutely fantastic. Can't, can't believe I actually made it. It's been a year in the making and a year in the organizing and we're finally here and we're on our way and uh, yeah we're definitely definitely moving um, i've been here before you know i've been here before if you haven't seen my videos i'll put a link up to my previous videos uh, where we first came over and was actually blown away i'm really excited to show these guys all about uh, the faroe islands and the different locations different places we're going to visit we've got dragonair to do that's going to be tomorrow morning uh, we've got trenalipa that's going to be sunday morning uh, so yeah we're really really looking forward to this and it's going to be really good fun um, yesterday we came down, we went over to Gustadulla, we got off the aeroplane and the aeroplane, the flight was fantastic and the landing was unbelievable. It was shaking and rocking and it came down with a good thump and a bump, but absolutely thoroughly enjoyed that trip on the aeroplane. It's only about an hour and a half um, from Edinburgh, very, very simple. Everyone collected to go, go, got together at Edinburgh Airport. We all met up, ready for one o'clock on the ferry, uh, on the aeroplane and down we came. Um, so yeah, um, the plan is Kelsoy Lighthouse, we're going to do that and then um, we're going to go maybe possibly up on the top of this little bad boy there uh, when we get up there for sunset after we've had some dinner and everything later on but i will take you with me and like i say we've got some really good fantastic trips over the next three days and uh, i will be taking you with me so welcome back to the faroe island can't wait for this one the weather is definitely interesting and gray and moody and atmospheric so let's see what we can come up with and i will see you when we get to the other side oh and by the way i'm going to be driving um, i've got the van hire i'm actually the designated driver and the designated cook and the designated bottle washer even though i'm getting lots of help from these guys um, so yeah i won't be doing as much video but i will check in when i get there so i'll see you in a bit and if you're feeling a bit queasy. Yeah, you're better off not being in here looking, getting help looking out the back of the boat. Well, I've just got back in the van, just sitting down, just uh, enjoying the last five minutes. And my goodness, this boat is rocking like nothing on earth. That was absolutely amazing. Just five minutes of complete, well, almost sheer terror, but no, really, really cool. And I enjoyed that. I want more, I want more. My God, the door's open and we're not even there. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, a bit late now, isn't it? 
<laughs> right, we are at the car park. They've, no, they've made, made a new car park. Uh, last time I was here, we parked over this side. We've got this nice big car park to come in. We've just driven all through these mountains as well. The road snakes up through the hills here and you literally drive right through the mountains. If I can get a little bit of B-roll on the way back, I'll chuck the camera to one of the other guys. I'll show you what it's like coming through the actual mountains. Absolutely amazing experience to be driving through. It looks like a hamster's gnawed its way all the way through the hillside. But yeah, we're here and now we've got a couple of miles, I think it is, to sort of walk over and trek over to the lighthouse and uh, go and see where we're. old Mr. James Bond decided to uh, yep. die. So one thing to remember if you're coming over here as well uh, is they're now charging you to go over to the lighthouse. So it's something to bear in mind and make sure you bring some, I think maybe a good idea to bring the cash, but yeah, make sure you've got money with you when you come in this direction. Uh, there is a toilet at the bottom as well. So if you're desperate, there's a nice little warm toilet to get you sorted. And there's a lady now collecting some pennies. So we need to pay this lady. Be sprinting anyway, it's not sprinting exercise. So the conditions this time from the last time I came are extremely different. You can't see the tops of the hills. You can't see the tops of the mountains. And the pathway over here is very, very boggy to start with. Extremely slippery, not looking forward to going back down it. Once you get over that first bit, it isn't too bad. But yeah, that first bit, not nice at all. So I'm looking forward to getting there. I'm looking forward to seeing what the actual walk, the walk of doom, if you like, walking across the narrow ridge to get that perfect shot looking back. If it's too sketchy, we won't be doing it. But you know what I'm like, I really have to do what I can do when I can do it. But yeah, so far, so good. So we've actually made it to the other side. We actually come across the top of that little ridge. And yeah, it's a little sketchy to get going, but it's not too bad. I've been in worse. Right, we're going for a wide angle lens because the view behind it is definitely a wide angle shot. So we're going to swap lenses over, try not to get too much moisture inside and uh, give it a go. Right, so let's have a look and see what we can do with this. We've got the wide angle on, open it right up. And I know I've taken this shot before, but not in these conditions. So I'm using the leading line of the little trail running up. Lighthouse is over on the third. So I've got this big mountain sitting up prominently in the middle and I've got a little bit of dead space over in the right hand side. That's just giving me a little bit of scale to the size of this thing. And what I might do is I might do a two shot pano and do two either side. That way it's going to give me, give me that great sort of span, a very wide angle lens shot. So uh, we'll give that a shot, I'll try it as well. And we'll try that out. But first of all, we'll get the camera set back to normal settings. We're going to go for f11. We're going to focus up on the lighthouse because that's the most important part of this shot. And uh, I don't think we need to bracket it, but we'll we'll give it a go and see. In fact, I will bracket it because I like to do it. Make sure I've got all the information. And someone's just chucked his tripod right in the corner of my shot. What a oh, nice chap he is! What a sorry. really nice chap he is! Sorry, Paul, mate. Uh, three inches to your left. Right. That'll do. It's out. <laughs> you've got to tell these guys. You might have brought them with you, but you've got to tell them. Yeah. Be the boss. Be a, be assertive. Right, give us a wave. Hey. Don't forget, drop us a comment. <laughs> Definitely, you know how it goes. I just took a selfie for him on their camera and uh, hopefully you're subscribed to the channel and hello if you did, it was good to meet you and uh, thank you for being part of the video. Um, yeah, they've made their way across now um, and I've just done a big sweep pano, so I've gone full wide angle. So I'm at 10 mil, which is probably equivalent to about what? 16 maybe on a on a full frame camera and I've just done about six or seven shots right across the frame to try and get all of this in because the water level is actually quite low I think at the moment which is giving me a bit of a rock down here on the left and the drop down to the left is phenomenally high and massive but it looks really dramatic with having the waves crashing over the top of the rocks so I think by adding that to the image it really has added something to the to the left hand side of the frame and you'll see when the image comes up that you've got this big sweeping sort of precipice of rock leading out into the ocean and the mountains behind it and the other islands and things but yeah what an absolutely fantastic day this is so different from the last time i was here with the gray skies the thick skies the low hanging cloud and all the atmosphere going on this should make a very very different image to the last one and what i might even do is put the two up one after the other just so you can have a look and see what i had i think maybe 18 months nearly two years ago to what i've got today very different but very 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 cool So 
So I've got another one on the go. I'm going for something without the big mountain in the back because I like the lighthouse and I like this sort of precipice island or the um, ridge line leading out and the mountain in the background. So I'm just doing a straight shot on this. Uh, horizontal shot, focusing again over on the lighthouse. I'm still at F11, which is different for me because I'm normally shooting at F8. Um, but you've got down in the bottom, then you've got the water and the, the breaking waters coming over the top, which gives you that little bit of scale because there are actually big, massive waves that are crashing there. And there are two people walking across the top, which is perfect because there's a little tiny dot. If you look in the middle, um, there actually looks like one person where they stood at the moment. But it just gives you that scale to this thing is absolutely huge. The camera does not do this any justice whatsoever. You really have to be here to see it. And if you want to be here to see it, I'll be doing these workshops hopefully at least once a year. So uh, drop us a comment and I'll put your name down in the list and uh, I'll give you an email. alone on the video processing today i've got another vlogger with me this guy not only jumped in my van and shared the trip all the way up here he's now vlogging and stealing all the limelight i mean what's going on here eh what's going in it and what's the name of your channel sir andy hunt andy, oh sorry andy h photography andy h photography i'll yeah. put a link in the description yeah. below and i bet you've never heard that said before but <laughs> it will definitely be there and <laughs> what was that don't like and don't subscribe don't like and don't subscribe yeah don't like and don't subscribe but he said that not me he said that it's not me um right so we're done shooting that big amazing amazing thing we're now shooting back down towards um, the sea stacks and everything down there in the distance. It is a fantastic shot, but we've gone for the long lens. We've cracked out the old 70 to 300 and we're zoomed right in. Oh, God only knows what length. I'll put it up on the screen what we zoomed in at. And of course I'm on a crop sensor, but there is a waterfall actually cascading off the top of the mountain and you've got the sea stacks in the distance and that nice soft, um, really it's a very, very soft atmospheric image and it's got a bit of a mood to it because it is so soft and you can't quite see all the detail, but you can actually make out what's there and it really, really looks quite nice. And I heard him say in his video, so I'm gonna steal his words, you might even get to see the odd seabird. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you will and maybe you won't, but it sounded good anyway when I was listening to him say it. So yeah, what I've actually done on the camera this time is something I don't normally do. And it's something I've heard another vlogger say uh, when I've been watching videos and I can't remember who and if, I wish I could because I hadn't stealing his idea, but basically I focused on the image and instead of bracket, I've got it on continuous shooting and the idea is because because we've got a little bit of wind and because we're at a long focal distance and I know it's got an image stabilizer when I take the photograph I've got a two second timer the camera will settle and calm down and then it takes a consecutive like three or four different shots click 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 and hopefully one of them will be sharper than the rest just without the slight camera movement in and if there is a bird there it might just have the bird just flying over the edge of the mountain rather than on the you know actually in the mountain itself so yeah just trying something a little bit different taking a few shots rapidly taken and we never know one of them could be better than the other just thought of a word ethereal that's what this image is it's got an ethereal look to it i am actually going to come a little bit wider as well because i think it deserves it but and the reason i'm going to go wider is because i think it works as a square crop there is a famous vlogger that we've all seen and heard and watched mr ht you know the one um, he does these square crop images and i don't do them many and i think this is one that is going to lend itself to a square crop i really do think it's going to work Wow, that's going to be nice. So I'm in a bit of a stalemate now. I've got sheep and I don't want to scare them because they're right on the top of this hillside here. But look at these little things here. Walking across the top of this. Absolutely insane. Come on, guys. I've got to get through. Let me through. Come on. Come on. Thank you. So as you look behind me as I get myself up next to the, the lighthouse here, you can see down over this slope what it's like to walk across that ridge where the guys are still over the other side. And it is some some ridge to walk across you really have to have your nerves about you but what i want to do now is literally just get out this wind for a couple of minutes oh the lighthouse door's open 
but just stand behind the lighthouse and just oh take a breath and just and just suck this in I do love this place Hopefully you can hear me, I've got my microphone inside me coat. Um, I wasn't going to do it, but three of them are going up to the James Bond Memorial where poor old 007 bit the dust. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly wander up there and uh, maybe get another selfie with the old uh, tombstone and uh, just show you where it is and what it is because you may not have seen the original video. While we're coming though, look at the cliff, look at this for... Uh, a rock face we've got sideways wind coming in and yes i've got me woolly hat on again now keeping me ears warm keeping me head warm <sighs> what an amazing i love this place if you do want to come please do check it out or check me out go onto my website for Compton pd photography and uh, you will be able to contact me from a contact form and we can arrange a visit i'll do all the work for you all you've got to do is jump on an airplane and join me how about that don't even have to be a photographer if you want to come over just for a visit you're more than welcome to uh, it's not all about photography sometimes sometimes it's about being in these places visiting these places and seeing these places like where James Bond bit the dust Did that do it for you? Did that do it for you, John? Are you, are you a made man now? Are you, are you properly there? <laughs> Andy said, who's James Bond? We are back down safely, or I am back down safely. The other three guys are coming down at the moment. They're halfway up the hill. John's in the loo, which is just here. Uh, the van is parked up there. You can see Dave up the top there in the van, a little red dot over there. I'm just having a picture here. I like this shot as a scene. Uh, you've got a little tiny barn there. You've got a little tiny green roof um, grass top house there and you've got this tiny little burial ground which was consecrated in 1830 something uh, 1836 and I think the first people were buried there in 1839 and that is that's a long time ago so yeah very very old little tiny graveyard and it's tiny so I've taken a shot of all that with that big dramatic sky sort of black you know blocking out the top of the mountain and uh, yeah I think that's another another quite a nice little image it's got some little memories in it and stuff but yeah this is a very very tiny tiny little village it really is a small one uh, you can see it all literally as i turn around so we're going to head off somewhere else and i'm going to take you to visit another part of this island of uh Kelsley. We are down, there's our seal lady down there on the rocks. Uh, I'm just gonna try and remind you of the story. I'm pretty sure the story is that uh, there was a farmer that captured the lady and she comes out of a, a seal costume and she becomes a woman when she's actually on land and then they put their costume back on and go back into the sea. But I believe that as a young farmer man captured her and kept her captive and wouldn't give her a costume back to go back into the water um, until she managed to escape. I think on his peril, I think he died, I think he got killed and didn't come back to the farm or something like that um, but yeah I'll put the story up for you so you can have a bit of a read of it um, but yeah we're gonna go down get a picture and be very careful of these waves because I do remember last time one of the big waves came over and was extremely dangerous it washed right over the top so we do have to keep an eye on what's going on that is the Atlantic Ocean at the end of the day and we don't mess with the sea just look at this I've got to get a shot of this I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna stand because I have just said you've got to be very careful of the old Atlantic Ocean creeping up behind me but that is amazing I wonder if I can get that with all this uh, sort of cliffs and mountains behind it that would be really good 
absolutely unbelievable. Let's see what we can do. Got to get a shot of that. Even if it's a handheld shot, I've just got to get something because that looks so phenomenal. Woo. All right, so I found something real interesting than this and I've got a really, really nice shot. This is an absolutely stunning photograph. One of my favorite, I think, because I've not done this and I've not seen this before. So this is a bit of a nice surprise for me. Uh, I tried to do a full sweeping pano sort of pretty much all the way around there. I don't know whether it's going to stitch together, but I've found something else I really, really like and it's fascinating me. But if you look down here, just watch this puddle down below me. You see just down there, you can see these little bubbles popping and bubbling. So what they do is now they stopped and then all of a sudden they'll start bubbling here. Look at that. So there's air pumping through the bottom. So I wonder whether it's something to do with a wave coming in and there's caves underneath and as the wave comes in and pushes the water level up, it's forcing the air up through the rocks and it's making it bubble down there. But it's quite fascinating to watch and it's not in the only place. There's a few little spots around it that's doing this. It must be aerated, this rock. Really, really quite, quite cool. Thought I'd pop up and have a look at my old faithful friend here, the old seal lady that I came up last time and got me selfies with. And uh, yeah, she's a big girl, she is, and, and it's an absolute amazing sculpture. It looks like it's been repainted from the last time I was here. And it also looks like some lights down here. So this would be amazing to see at night if this is all lit up. Um, but the backdrop, I've just taken a shot looking back against all this lot as well. It's really difficult to stand up here. There's not a lot of room for me to actually maneuver around up here. Uh, but yeah, the shot looking back looks pretty cool. I'll pop that up on the screen for you and it's time for us to move on, I think, and uh, try and find somebody to get a coffee at least, or at least, look at these waves, look at this wave, watch your feet. Woo! <laughs> I, did, I did tell Dave, watch his feet down there. Big one! Oh! <laughs> they were just doing a selfie over there just then, and the wave just come up over the top, nearly went over the top of her. That was massive. Wow, that's, that's cool. That was, that was a big, big, big wave. These are some steps to get back up. A lot of steps and a slope. So I'm fully out of breath. Got another couple of shots of the waterfall on this side as well. Looking back out. I'm not sure about them, but I will process them. I'm sure they'll look alright when I finish with them. And I'll pop them up on the screen when I say goodbye. And that's going to be somewhere around now. I think the video is long enough for this part. One of the Faroe Islands. Kelsoy Lighthouse seal lady and uh, yeah it's just it's going to be more videos for me later on once I catch your breath have some dinner a cup of coffee we're heading out this evening and we're going to make an afternoon and evening of it so don't forget to give us that thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe and what else you've got to do like and subscribe like and subscribe <laughs> yeah check out the older videos from the Faroe Islands if you're doing some research and stuff because I've done a lot of some stuff from here before this is quite pretty as well isn't it till next time ciao for now see you soon and uh, yeah adventures continue